also of new uh, perspectives. There's one story I want to tell. There was a, uh, a young boy at the age of nine. He had to leave Austria due to the Nazi regime, and he went to the United States, and he was uh, taken up by a family in the US, and later became a very famous doctor, Eric Kandel, a Nobel Prize winner. And he told a story later in the film that his parents asked him, his foster parents in the US asked him when he came home from school, um, did you ask a critical question today? All the other parents asked, what did you learn in school today? And his foster parents asked him, did you ask a critical question? So what is obvious, uh, the issue of migration moves along a constant brink, the brink of migration control on the one hand, a very tricky and sensitive issue, and the promotion uh, of development on the other hand. Numerous international organizations and tackle this issue of migration and also development institutes, development institutions, organizations, public as well as within civil society, are challenged uh, to be aware uh, of the problems, their underlying causes, and to find possible uh, solutions. Migration and development is an international phenomenon which goes beyond national structures, national borders. Like any other global issue, it asks for international solutions, so it's great to have an international conference uh, in this respect. However, these international solutions must be embedded uh, in local and regional realities. Some of these I will not deny even if they may sound selfish, migrants strengthen our society, they make an elderly community younger, they enrich it with language and culture, they open it up for links with faraway regions, and they create partnerships in the field of development and also business. My own organization, the Austrian Development Agency, has issued a call for proposals last autumn inviting especially NGOs to carry out projects in the thematic area of migration and development. Nineteen initiatives are funded in which awareness about the reasons for and the consequences of international migration is raised within the Austrian public. It is the task of development, communication and education global learning to raise critical awareness, to ask critical questions, to promote creativity to new solutions, and to close gaps between communities, migrant communities, development communities, other political communities which may sometimes work too much apart. It is a challenge for the state how to best support initiatives of migrant communities, and I hope this conference will give some answers. My colleagues Andrea Schmidt and Kunta Schall uh, will point out a few, a few windows of opportunities, I want to call them, uh, in the workshops uh, tomorrow. Let me conclude what I regard as overarching important. It is the promotion and acknowledgement of intercultural dialogue. The fight against prejudices, against bias and racism is a long and hard one but mutual learning can help to win it. A special motivation for my organization's call for proposals was to involve diaspora organizations with their specific knowledge and experiences. The cooperation of relevant Austrian NGOs like the Vienna Institute or Südwind, uh, together with the African networking platform in this conference and beyond, uh, is an example of good practice and raises hope for the future. I wish you the best of luck and success.